Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and I'm here with a brand new game for the channel, Event Zero. This is a game I was really looking forward to. To give you guys an example of what this game is, it is made by Ocelot Society, and this game is a sci-fi space exploration style of game. Very unusual concept though. The idea here is that you are basically awakened on a ship, and you need to discover kind of what's going on, and the only other thing that you can interact with is the ship's artificial intelligence, and the programming of the game has made it so that the ship can procedurally generate up to two million different responses, and you have to basically forge an alliance with this artificial intelligence and try and get it to help you find your way through the ship. Let's go right into a new game. I don't really know what to expect. I've never loaded this up before. Looks like we just create, uh, choose a save slot here. We'll go with number one. Um, yes. Kaizen is the name of the artificial intelligence, and for the most part, it looks like the ship itself is Kaizen's body. And if we get on its good side, maybe it will assist us in learning what exactly is going on. We're all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness health mind being for and from being with being without you were not an exception and thus the bond with artificial intelligence is formed and i'm pretty interested about that oh look at this it's clickable i assume this is the habitat station that we're on for as long as you could remember the pronoun that described you best had been she he they oh Oh, it's like a character creation. I didn't know it had this. Uh, we'll do he. You were very particular about it. Well, I guess. Like everyone else, you call planet Earth your home. But you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood in a hippie community in a war-torn country in a slum. Oh, God. Uh, we'll go with the hippie. Oh, in a hippie commune. I'm sorry. We'll go with the hippie commune. That seems fairly interesting. First California, then the United States ceased to exist. The world itself became a hypertrophied commune, both disproving and confirming everything you stood for. You moved to San Francisco. All right. Never had a big problem with San Fran. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone, and you intended to keep it that way. This is cool, it's like a little bit of an interactive narrative. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witness nation states pop out of existence. And then what came? What came next? Solenities became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. Oh, I'm sorry, Selenites. It was hard to reconcile the modern world. With your early days in the commune, the United Earth government paid for your college. Oh, thank you, United Earth government. You want to make a difference, give back to society, see what the rest of the universe looked like. Man, that would be cool. So if you guys don't know, I'm really into space games, obviously, since I think my channel is probably like 75% space games. And this is why I'm very interested in seeing what the rest of the universe looks like. Although I will probably never do it in my time. As soon as you, soon you join the International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting your shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. Hello, sir. It's a it's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Uh, which one sounds more like me? Probably this one. I don't bite, he said, grinning. You mumbled something incoherent. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. You sat down anyway. You kept standing. Ooh, man, I'm a really relaxed guy. I would probably just sit down. I mean, I would wait for him to sit, though. I'm, I'm at least... Ah, forget it. We'll just go with sit down. This is exactly why I selected you. I love him whose soul is lavish, who wants no thanks and does not give back, for he always bestows and desires not to keep for himself. He asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. Despite the Nietzsche quote, you decided to say yes. All right. Poor Nietzsche. Apparently, we have some sort of unfondness. 
There had already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time, they wanted to send a man lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be one of the Selenites or be a part of something. Eh, I don't really know. I mean, they're both a part of something, right? Let's go with this one. The act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from the commune. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space. You'd been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6, 2012, and the humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth, well, let's just say that it wasn't going to be straightforward. All right, so this is my first impression of the game so far. Love the narrative. I love being able to get a scene set up about the game. This is so cool. I like the little sounds in the background. You are on your way to the system bay when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well, but the systems bay door was just a few feet away. Oh, oh, we're going to be a rebel. You saw Josh from Engineering operating the bay terminal before the system bay door was shut in front of you. Maybe it wasn't a drill after all. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. What's going on? What's going on? A synthetic voice said that trying to get to the bridge had been too risky. It wanted you to evacuate. You ran to the escape pod bay. Everyone else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. Oh, thank God. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. That one capsule, man. It's like it was meant to be. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. But then what? Darkness. Oh, we're getting closer to it. Look at this. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. You tried to reach the command center. You attempted to communicate with Europa 11. Let's uh, try to communicate with Europa 11. Europa 11 was steering your capsule, but you could not get the AI to answer your hail. Something was jamming the signal. Your pod was leaving the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get in their EVA suits. EVA suits? The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that crap. You sent out a distress signal. You sat there, not knowing what to do next. Well, come on, man. We at least know to do this. No one answered. Well, I guess then we're just going to tip back a cold Budweiser. You kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you wouldn't need the battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whisting your favorite Beatles songs into the microphone. One day you heard back. There was... Oh. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. You hurried to the... You hurried to open the radar app. Very immersive for an indie game. Very immersive. Excellent, excellent pacing so far, too. Like I said, I'm loving the, the integration of the movement, the words, the sounds. There was a spaceship, one of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing there? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was it docking to it a good idea? You figured you did not have much of a choice. All right, guys. Oh. Beautiful voice, too. Uh. Oh, I can't even control this. I guess we're docking on our own. I was just trying to navigate the mouse or the keyboard or something, but it looks like we're coming in for a soft landing. What you say matters more than you think is the tip at the bottom of the screen. Welcome, guys, to Event Zero. This is the official beginning, I suppose. And here we are. 
So what do you guys think so far? Hold the left mouse button to walk. Okay. Oh, whoa. Hold the right mouse button to step back. That's odd. Not the keyboard? All right. Oh, I can't even move anything around right now. This is interesting. This is an odd, uh, an odd style of movement system here. Oh, 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 hey. Okay. Hold on here. There has to be... Let me check out the controls real quick. There we go. That's much more normal. Okay, now I'm controlling this with the WD, uh, ASD keys. I had to change it from mouse movement to keyboard movement. The only thing that we need to know, though, is that in order to uh, get involved with any of these terminals, we have to click our mouse button. Let's just take a real quick look about what's going on here. Emergency re-entry medical kit. Okay. We got some suits over here. An EVA suit, standard issue old model. Okay. Oh, was there more here? Oh, okay, it's just telling us about the EVA suit. And then it looks like there's a door over there, and then a door over here. So we came from D1. I think we need to go into D2. Please enter a new login. Gray. Login input successful. Nice. Do you want Gray as your new login? Well, I would appreciate it. Yay, we exp we got experience. We leveled up. Accessing user interface. New user goal. Oh, God. Uh. Well, hey there. Oh, God. How would I respond to this? Use your keyboard to talk to Kaizen. Um. Uh, yes. Who are you? Oh, well, I thank you for knowing that I'm human. I guess we'll be nice because I think that's pretty important. Look at how there's little glitches going on. Can you open door D2, please? Whoa! Oh, it's working! Holy crap! Look at that, guys! So, this is kind of how you navigate this game. That was the first time we've seen it. I know that we're a little bit into the... into the, uh, the episode right now, but... Oh, God. Oh, wow. It is, like... like, dark, dark, dark. Um... Whoa, oh, hey, ho! Oh. Hi! Oh, man. Do you dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? Yes, I do. That's a true thing. Yes! Look at this TV, man. Very original name. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort? Out of your comfort zone. To reserve oh. a seat, visit the ITS Corporation. Excellent punchline. Comfort out of your comfort zone. Can we use any of this or? Whoa, whoa. Oh, epic music. Got some reclining chairs here. Fasten seatbelt during takeoff and landing. Where in the hell are we though? Oh. Man, this is some retro BS right up in here, guys. Standard issue security armchair. Yeah, not installed is right. Oh, it's Kaizen. This is what Kaizen looks like. It's like a... It's like a... Um, oh, it's one of those images, guys. You know, the images where it's a mind trick. See? See the, the little leg there, but it's an optical illusion. What do we got? Like James Dean over here? Dear Diary by Moody Blues. Now that is old school. Turntable. All right. Man, this TV, this brings back memories. I don't know about you guys, but this was actually a thing when I was a young man, hence the gray. Oh, we can't get through here. Kaizen. Ka oh, there you are. Um, Not too far, never alone. 
The Robinson syndrome is not the end of the line. Four billion people are waiting for you back on Earth. The Robinson syndrome. Uh, what? Oh, crap. Is the Robinson syndrome. Science says you have the Robinson syndrome if you tend to succumb to melancholia and have mystical crisis? What? What is that? No, no. What requires my attention? Uh, I... I don't understand, though. Oh, boy. Oh. Alright. Well, um... I mean, I appreciate it. Oh, we need to get into corridor D3. Oh, look, there's a camera right there. Maybe that's how Kaizen can see us. Okay, so D3 we need to open up. Let's see here. Could, could you please open door D3? Oh, that's okay, though. I would really love to see it. May I see what's behind D3? The rest of the ship is really messy, which is why I have locked that door. I want you guys to let me know too. Do you want me to narrate what the ship says or do you just want to read it on the screen? I do want to at least you know, play in the way that is the most comfortable for you guys. I'm going to narrate for the most part, just because the the audio is a little bit weird when it talks. And I don't know, maybe some people might be watching this without the screen up. Uh, I guess that could happen. Um, could you unlock D3, please? The door is locked. Uh, all right. Um, what is error 54? Oh, I, all right. That's interesting. Success. All right, man. We're doing it. There's no sprint button in this game either. Oh, whoa. I, oh man, I didn't know it was going to. Ah. What the hell? Um. I. I. Did we just get locked in? Hold on. Uh. Yes. Crap. Ever since you came aboard, I have been wondering whether or not you would like to stay alive. Would you, buddy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, as I said, there's something important I want you to understand. Sure. What is it, Kaizen? Let's call it by its name. The Singularity Drive must be taken care of. This ship carries the last one of them. I need you to go to the bridge console and trigger its overcharge. Then we can go home. Where is home? Go downstairs if you are in the corridor. Uh, where? What planet is home? Why don't we talk about this later? Not at all. Okay, I will go. You need to go to the bridge and neutralize the drive from there. It's either that or we'll both be stuck in this planetary system forever. All right. Well, open the door, please. Kaizen. Kaizen, come on, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta play nice here. Could you 
open D3, please. There we go. Okay, got to get through this here. I don't know when this damn... Okay, cool. I was going to say, I don't know when he's going to close it. Now, he said it's downstairs, right? What is this? Piece of lino. Okay. Whoa! Oh, God! Mm. Oh, whoa! Oh, man! Talk about a freaking jump scare! All right, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, this isn't your fault, but the Nautilus has just suffered a minor accident. Stay away from the wires. What happened? Europa 11 exploded. Something triggered the overload of the reactor. Oh. Acknowledged. What happens if I touch the wires? The Nautilus has spent 26 years, 11 months, and 30 days in space. All right. Well, thank you for the knowledge. What is Kaizen? I can see a box with electronics inside attached to the D5 terminal. There are cables sticking out of it. All right. Um, okay. Let's get rid of that for now. So don't touch any wires. Whoa. There's one. Okay. Kind of. Get around here. A couple of wires laying on the ground. Electronic device unrecognized. Oh, what is this? What is this? Waiting. Sticky note. Moved notes to terminal. No retina match. All right. Let's kind of wander around this way here. Oh, we got a toolbox here, guys. Hold on. This might be important. Screwdrivers, pliers, and wrenches. All right. Well, good, I guess. Um, we got a terminal over there. We got a terminal over here. D5 bedroom. What does it say? Kaizen Memory Access Profiler SH? Yes, confirm. Okay, hold on. Find I in memory. Wait, we got a one. There's no two. And then there's a three. What is this? Oh. Profiler SH. Hold on. Pro... Crap. Pro... Filer SH. Enter a memory address. Uh... Pro... Filer... SH. Unknown memory address. Uh, help! Oh, there we go. Type memory address to access content. Okay. Uh, yes. How about some random numbers? Okay, so we need the address. Memory address. Where would that be? Oh, there's another sticky note over here. Moved note to the terminal. All right. So that's most of the notes. Kaizen memory access profiler SH. Find I in memory. Oh, if we hover over these, click yes to execute file. Okay, hold on. Profiler SH. And then it says, let's see here. Do any of these buttons do anything? Command exit or help. What would that, what would it be? One, three, four? That's the, that's the type of, um, that's the type of sticky notes that are on here. Okay. So we have no memory address that I, oh, what is this? Hold on. Memory address, guys. Oh, crap. Ah, okay. So as you hover over stuff, it stays, I think. So you don't have to like write it down yourself. I really like that. Okay. So profiler SH. I don't know about that. I just kind of... All right. Let's see here. Um, X, one, two, three, four, eight, eight, uh, four, E. 
This memory address contains an executable file. Do you want to launch it? Yes or no? Yes. Good. Ooh. Oh, boy. We're into the matrix now, boys. Here we go. Yes. What is this? Establishing connection. Oh, I can't barely see, see it. He's now mapped to memory slots. Find retina match. Hey. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, I'm just, I'm pressing things, by the way, and... Oh, God. All right, that was interesting. Okay. Come on, baby. Work for me. No retina match. Ever... Ever lock standard automatic lock. Crap. What do we need for the retina match? Oh. That looks like an eye there. Oh, every single button is something different. Holy crap. Kaizen. Whoa. This is freaking wacky, guys. All right, let's uh let's wander through here. Where would it, what would a retina match What would a retina match look like though? Uh, all right, no, that's very creepy. Planes, and that's kind of a thing. I uh, don't know what the hell that is. End white minority rule? Oh, we're getting freaking, we're getting freaking out of control here, guys. Okay, and that's it. So, from what I've seen... Um, where was it? I could have sworn there was something here. Hold on. There was something that looked like an eye. I just gotta find... I just gotta remember where the hell it was. Could have sworn it... There it is. That looks like it, man. It looks a lot like it. It's not working, though. That's for sure. All right. All right. Let's 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 check around a little bit more. What the hell is this? A pair of calipers? Oh, just a tool. Okay. Ah, hold on. Something in here. Oh, the panel's all busted up, too. D6. Oh, what does that say? Doesn't say anything. Nothing we can see anyway. All right, let's get out of here. No retina match. Let's go over here by D4 instead. Can you open D5? It's broken. It's not connected to D5. It's broken. No, it's next to the retinal. What is the retinal? Um, scan. If I'm from where you are, you should go to the bedroom door. Can you open D4? You're a kind human, right? So here's the deal. I will open the door, but you aren't supposed to enter the room. Uh. Well, that's not going to help. We have to enter the room. Oh, I got an idea. Hold on. I've got an idea. May I enter D4? Nautilus up. If you would be so good, remain in this part of the spacecraft. Wait a little while while I set this part of the ship up. Ship up. Oh, your surprise is ready. All right. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet that's how we get on its good side, guys. You just kind of gotta go along with it a little bit. It's got some music playing up in here now. I enjoy the music. 
This piano is only limited by the boundaries of your genius. Very interesting. Do you want me to let you try the synthesizer? Uh, sure. Up, down to select a mode, enter to validate. Okay. Oh, it's a little mini game! <laughs> All right. Very cool. Oh, it's Aria and Gmail. Oh, Johann Strauss Bach. All right. That's neat. Thank you, Kaizen. This game, guys, is something else. This game is really something else so far. I mean, this is something special. I definitely want to continue to come back to this and find out exactly what's... What the hell? Uh... Man, it has just the right amount of interest and creepy factor. Oh my god, it's Jupiter! How far out? How far out from Earth are we? Alright, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode up now. Remember, please let me know if you want me to narrate what the computer says or if you just want to read the screen. Whatever's a little bit easier for you guys. Guys, I hope you're enjoying Event Zero so far. It is... It is a special game. I am really, really thinking this is something original and I love it so far. I gotta tell you, until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.